We're here to idea you, to fire up your curiosity and connect you with the people and ideas that shape our world. Watch, listen, understand, connect, and create. Let's move the human story forward together. Hello and welcome to The Poetry of Science, a podcast which provides insight into new scientific research via the medium of poetry. I'm your host, Dr. Sam Illingworth, and each week I'll be introducing you to some of the latest scientific findings and sharing a selection of science-themed poetry. After all, we could all do with a little bit more poetry in our lives. In this episode, I'll be exploring new research, which has found that fishing for oil and meat drives deepwater shark and ray decline. Down in the obsidian, teeth and sinew flex against the remorseless flow of that immense and jellied gloom. There move leviathans, archaic dread made flesh, hewn from the brine itself, these crawling shadows drifted from the drowned world's womb. Yet now the sleekest blades descend on high, the slash, the rend, the price of new delicacies, precious squalling to be sold and rendered to our latest craze, as tidal ghosts lay banished, born now to emptiness, ruin, pain. This poem is inspired by recent research published in the journal Science, which has found that the deep ocean's biodiversity is threatened by overfishing, particularly of deep water sharks and rays. The deep sea remains one of the few places on earth largely untouched by human activities, serving as a sanctuary for a diverse range of wildlife. In these remote depths, particular types of fish, such as deep water sharks and rays, find a haven where they have thrived, away from the intense fishing pressures that affect many other species. However, these animals are extremely vulnerable to overfishing due to their naturally low populations and slow reproduction rates. This new study has highlighted a concerning trend amongst these deepwater creatures. It has been discovered that a significant proportion of deepwater sharks are being hunted, primarily for the oil in their livers, which is highly sought after internationally. The research indicates that such practices have placed many species at risk, with some on the brink of extinction. These sharks and rays face such drastic population declines that recovery is challenging, exasperated by a lack of effective management and conservation measures. The research underscores the urgent need for stringent depth and area restrictions on fishing, improved catch regulations and international cooperation in trade oversight. By taking these steps, it is hoped that we can still prevent the loss of these remarkable species and to foster their recovery ensuring the continued health of deep ocean ecosystems. Now that you've heard the science, let me read the poem to you again. Down in the obsidian teeth and sinew flex against the remorseless flow of that immense and jellied gloom. There move leviathans, archaic dread made flesh, hewn from the brine itself, these crawling shadows drifted from the drowned world's womb. Yet now the sleekest blades descend on high, the slash, the rend, the price of new delicacies, precious squalling to be sold and rendered to our latest craze, as tidal ghosts lay banished, born now to emptiness, ruin, pain. In this section of the podcast, I'd like to share a poem written by another poet on a topic related to the science that has been discussed so far. In this episode, I'll be reading Sharks at the New York Aquarium by Charles Martin. Charles Martin is an American poet, critic and translator who was born in New York City in 1942. He earned a BA from Fordham University and a PhD from the State University of New York at Buffalo. 
Martin's published several acclaimed poetry collections, including Steal the Bacon, published in 1987, and What the Darkness Proposes, published in 1996. The recipient of numerous awards, including multiple pushcart prizes, Martin has received the Best Hoken Award, the Literature Award from the American Academy of Arts and Letters, and fellowships from the National Endowment for the Arts and Merrill Ingram Foundation. Sharks at the New York Aquarium by Charles Martin Suddenly drawn through the thick glass plate and swimming among them, I imagine myself as briefly part of the pattern, traced in the water as they circulate endlessly, obeying the few laws that thread the needle of their simple lives. One moment in a window of serrated knives, old-fashioned razors and electric saws, and then the sudden, steep, sidewinding pass. No sound at all. The water's turning pink, then rose, then red, after a long while clear. And here I am again outside the tank, uneasily wrapped in our atmosphere. Children almost never tap on the glass. Thank you for listening to the Poetry of Science. Thank you very much for being with us for this episode of the Idea Me Show. Idea Me is a global platform. Our mission is to move the human story forward by sharing knowledge of the future. You can find us on all major audio networks at www.radioideame.com, on YouTube and Vimeo. Please subscribe.